The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. And we've got a day, don't we? A little up, a little down. But uh, this morning, what do we have? I think we've had a route. I think we had somebody uh, that had a problem in the market. And I think they just took him out to the woodshed and just beat them. Uh, unmercifully as they uh, forced liquidation on them. Um, there wasn't a lot on Friday to tell us we were going to do this. Um, but uh, I think when we look in a couple of days, we're going to find out that someone uh, just, uh, as we were saying last week, uh, starting to see uh, margins pulled on some of these big hedge funds. I think we just saw one or maybe more than one, uh, end up uh, getting cashed out at a discount. Um, always makes me think of uh, when uh, in the Goodfellas, uh, when uh, he's standing in court and he comes out and breaks the third, fourth wall. What is it? Fourth wall, third wall. He breaks a wall, comes out and starts talking to the viewers in the movie he says uh hey, your enemies never come to you and yell and scream at you um they they always come to you when you're your weakest and they come to you with smiles and it's not like in the movies where they threaten everybody and then they come and kill them they just all smile at each other and and come back and do it later. And that's kind of what it is on Wall Street, except I have a feeling that the mafia has a higher standard uh, of uh, morals and scruples probably than the people on Wall Street because uh, all that matters to them is uh, the dollar. Um, maybe not everybody, but I think, you know, they all know they're swimming with sharks. But I think by the end of the day, we're going to find out no, we're not the end of the day, but I think by the end of the week, we're probably going to hear about somebody uh, taking it on the chin. Because this is generally the kind of uh, market move where you don't have um, a great deal of people short, where they can just drive a market unmercifully. Uh, I was out buying uh, stuff this morning. I didn't believe it. Um, buying stuff uh, up until uh, previous uh, to the show. I do think so, there's some very nice patterns developing. But uh, that's it. Um, bought something in the semi space. Like I said, uh, I wouldn't want to uh, be in the equities. I bought the uh, actually the uh, the uh, calls uh, for the 21st. Uh, bought some other stuff uh, that I think is uh, starting to work out. But um, yeah, it, it may just be a little early. I was thinking that if we were going to have kind of a push down like this, it'd probably be on Wednesday for Delta Neutral Day. We really didn't get that. Uh, but my guess is uh, that options have prob are that we probably have seen the lows through the 21st. Uh, but uh, we shall see. Anyway, yeah, it's... Uh, it was kind of a scary day earlier, but uh, for the most part, uh, what I've seen is that they got everybody to just uh, toss their cookies up on what had been kind of light volume going into Friday. And uh, just nobody short. My guess is that a bunch of people did short today, though. And we're going to probably see a little bit of a bounce, at least into Wednesday. Um, do I think this is the end of a, a two-way market for the rest of the year? No. Uh, as I said last week and in my newsletter, I think this is going to be a stock-picking year. This is not going to be one of these things where you just sit back, grab an index or an ETF, and then that's it. You're probably going to way underperform uh, what most people do, picking stocks. So I'm pretty pumped. 
Uh, we have a market that's starting to act like it has for the last 200 years, uh, not one that is uh, uh, mostly driven by the Fed as they start to pull back. Um, was very interested to see that I think we had some Fed uh, juice come in this morning on the TLT. And that was, uh, um, you know, it got down to 141.36. And uh, even the uh, bond auctions and other stuff like that going on uh, seemed to firm up rather quickly, which makes me think uh, the Fed was probably maybe at the margins uh, out playing around today. Uh, give me a call. This would be a great day. 877-927-6648. You can email me at PATH. That's P-A-T-H at T-F-N-N dot com. And what else? I think that's it. Bought a few things today. Think well, I'm going to be okay on it. Trying to limit my uh, exposure by buying calls, except in stuff that I think has uh, some really good long-term uh, benefit, which I got one today for the Tech Insider. Uh, and, um, you know, by the end of the day, will we have, will we just have erased what happened? I don't think so. But uh, I think we're going to get a probably a, a, maybe an 80% bounce out of this. And then everybody's going to come back to shorting once again. Uh, but uh, they'll probably be shorting a little early. We'll probably see some kind of drive. And I think that if you are expecting uh, the big downturn in this market, um, what we had today was just an early warning. Uh, but uh, that's it. 877-927-6648. Looking for emails. And uh, you can do that now. And uh, what else do we have? Um, yeah. Did I go through everything? Uh, my best indicators uh, pretty much show that we got a really big push. Uh, TLT is 142. We talked about that. So I think it's just time to start looking at charts. Uh, to, 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 where are my charts at? And we'll start seeing what kind of damage, if any, is in. But a lot of this stuff looks to me like uh, just washed everybody out. First of all, I wanted to take a look at uh, Tesla. Look at that. Um, it's still not good, but uh, pretty interesting to see that for the most part it held 1,000 today um, for the people that are involved in that. I think they think that's going to be a win. I think this is a long-term sell. And, of course, those guys are nuttier than fruitcakes. So, um They'll come back and throw, if they've got a mortgage to the house, they will. At one point, there won't be any money left to go after it by those folks. And we'll see the big guys come out and start selling it. I think we've seen a little bit of that. But uh, my guess is we've got another month or so uh, for Tesla before it takes the big slide. As I said, uh, $40 stock trading at 1000 We'll see. Be back in a minute. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. We return. Time for a little bit of history. Get back to the market already in progress over most of TFNN. Then it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 2006, seven months after announcing the Macintosh computers will transition from the Power PC from Motorola to Intel, the first Apple computers to ship with Intel processors are released. The Intel-based iMac and my, uh, MacBook Pro models will soon be followed by the rest of Apple's Macintosh line in 2006. The importance of this transition cannot be overlooked. Well, I overlooked it because I never bought one. Uh, through virtual machine software, Apple's later introduced boot camp technology. People would run Windows uh, software directly on their Macs at the same time speed uh, as Windows-based computer. Effectively removed a huge roadblock many people had of owning a Macintosh so that they wouldn't be able to go back to Windows, even if it was more of a psychological security blanket, and yeah, Mr. Linus, for many. And, of course, this is really the death of Motorola's processor division. Uh, they had a superior processor for many years, but mostly because Intel had the business, uh, they could spend a lot more in development and it eventually ran out of gas with the 68000, 68030 uh, series of processors and the PowerPC, which is the successor for that. But uh, always had a better architecture, but it uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, a lot of times, uh, just like uh, Sony and, uh, and Panasonic back with the VCRs, you can have a better product and still lose because you have one critical flaw. The flaw for uh, Motorola was not having Windows PCs on it. But uh, I do digress. Uh, okay, what else do we have? Let's go back to our charts already in progress. If I can find the thing, where is it at? There we are, right there. Okay. Uh, back at support, uh, we've been looking at this for a while, uh, mostly on these gaps that we filled today. Uh, this big gap uh, on uh, Microsoft. Uh, let me get back up here. Okay. 
There we go. Um, on the 27th was 52 million shares. Um, pretty good sign out here. 39 million shares two days ago. Uh, Friday, 32 million shares. Today, you had about 26 so far. So a pretty good test of this gap for Microsoft on the 27th. And is it over? Eh, I don't know. I think you have a lot of people who are going to be nervous for a little while. But you know what? Everything Microsoft has really done has not been, uh, they haven't done anything massively wrong. Now, maybe they're going to get ready to, but as long as they continue to be one of the best, if not the best, managed uh, companies in technology or big cap tech, I have a feeling that everything is, is pretty good with them. Now, is the market a little bit overpriced? Probably. But uh, when you got from 345 down to 310-ish, uh, as we are now, doesn't look at all that bad. Uh, okay. What else do we have? Apple, as we go through the usual suspects. Um, uh, see what we have here. Uh, for Apple, um, 107 million shares back on December 20th. Uh, right now, you got 67 million shares. Um, you didn't quite go through that low, which I would have liked to seen, but I got to figure that everybody's out there. The downside for Apple, which I think it makes it a little weaker than the rest, is it did have a lot of uh, volume uh, coming down, or more volume than it had in the last leg up. Uh, but we did talk about also a fairly long-term sell signal up at the top, 153 million shares back on December 13th to just 100 million shares on January 4th. Uh, is it, uh, are people going to give up on this easily? The answer is no. Uh, but uh, I have a feeling that a lot of big guys out there are probably looking at selling Apple and looking for a faster horse this year. A lot of these stocks will outperform for two or three years, and then they go back uh, to the mean. And I think uh, Apple may be one of those that goes back to the mean. Other uh, stocks do we have? Yeah. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. Got that. Got that. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. We looked at Tesla. William Sonoma. WSM. I was looking to short this one back at 200. I was a little early, but got out before anything really had changed. Uh, I was pretty sure it was headed back to these gaps, uh, and uh, it made it back there today. Um, actually, there's a double gap, and we were talking about gaps in the three gap play last week. If I was uh, talking about anything else, in my theories on Gap for, I think it was Nick uh, last week. Hopefully he's listening and he'll email and let me know. One of the other theories on Gaps is one Gap's okay, two Gaps are amazing. And how many times, and one of the reasons why I wrote The Art of Timing the Trade charts the way I did, uh, and the way it displays uh, this, and why I'm having a hard time going to any other kind of chart module, is just being able to do everything. In fact, uh, the guy that write the, wrote the chart module, uh, I, I, this program actually is one of his examples of just how far you can take it. But uh, the double gap areas here are absolutely amazing about getting retested. Uh, you're down here with uh, 1.25 million shares. Now, that is compared to the gap higher with 6 million shares going back to March 18th of last year. Just about everything is the last year now, isn't it? So, anyway, um, eh, somebody in the den talking about buying something. Oh, it always reminds me of uh, what uh, Jesse Livermore says. That uh, no no uh, stock is too low for you to sell it, and no stock is too high for you to not buy it. And it's always uh, always rang in my mind. 
although I'm not a big fan of chasing stocks. Uh, to, to, to what else do we have? Uh, we looked at Apple. Let's take a look at Netflix. NFLX. We'll go through the rest. 877-927-6648. Email me at path at tfnn.com. Well, you almost got there. Energy's a little less. Just kind of where we were talking about coming back to 500. I think it still has the ability to get there. They have a lot of things going on, but uh, maybe that's setting up uh, a very uh, trading range above this. But I think you still want it to get back around 500. Take those. Be back in a minute. Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And back to the theme of the day, which is uh, retesting previous lows out here on lighter volume. Uh, if you are a bear, this does not mean the, the end is nigh. Generally, when you come off highs, even if you come off with a lot of volume, you're going to come down and you're going to retest a low. You're going to do it on lighter volume. You're going to bounce. And if you're going to get real bearish, you're going to build up some steam to go blow out the lows. So I'm not a Pollyanna bull here, but at the same time, uh, I don't see any reason why we probably don't have a few weeks 
of probably higher prices. Uh, and they may stumble up a bit, uh, but uh, you don't get too fixed on one side or the other. This is going to be a two-way market, I suspect, all year. On the, uh, on the average for the indexes, probably lower, uh, but there'll be some really, uh, you know, generally, the, uh, especially in a, ma a market pulling back, some of the biggest wins are in the only stocks going higher because it becomes a very crowded trade. So don't discount being long in a horrible market the right stock. But that's going to be a stock that everybody pretty much knows already. Uh, eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. We're looking at uh, uh, Google. Uh, two and a half million shares back on October fourth. Uh, One point four million shares so far today. We're back into the trading range. As I said, even if you come down with some energy, generally that first time, uh, maybe even a second time, you're not going to bust through. Uh, it takes a while. Uh, it is a big ship. And uh, sentiment does not turn on a dime generally at highs. Uh, like I said, though, in fact, if we hear a little bit more about, you know, some funds blowing up or something getting taken out to the woodshed today, and these guys are uh, eh, kind of uh, living uh, the real life version of trading places, uh, it would be interesting. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, NVDA. Uh, okay, you came down to the gap on NVIDIA. Uh, this uh, was a big thrust higher, a sign of strength, as the Wyckoff guys would call it, and I do too. Up on 115 million shares, NVIDIA tested that today with 43 million shares so far. So not a bad day. It's hanging out here at this gap. Um, we've got a little bit of damage, so I'm not expecting the mentality on these stocks to come back in uh, literally a day. But I do think that we'll probably do well into the 21st now for options expiration. Now, on the opposite side of that is AMD. Uh, it came down with just slightly more volume than it came up from the December 14th low. It also had 61 million shares so far today compared to the 51 million shares on December 14th. So generally what that tells me is NVIDIA much better position than AMD right now. Uh, AMD should have to bounce and come back and test with lighter volume before I decide to go chase it. Now, this is the most shorted big cap stock in the market. So don't be surprised to see some short squeezes in this thing. But generally, you had a fairly decent volume. Uh, but uh, if you're long this thing and you're thinking about getting out, well, I think you're probably going to get a bounce. Uh, but I want to wait until this thing bounces a bit, comes back down on a lighter volume. And then we're probably going to see the real short squeeze in this. Things still continue to be fairly good. Let's look at the Intel. Uh, which uh, continues to do fairly well for the tech stocks. Again, also fairly heavily shorted. I'm not a big fan of this long term. Maybe they've turned the corner, maybe they haven't, but I think uh, other stocks are doing much, or other companies uh, are doing much better. It just may be that Intel's been beaten so low that there isn't much. You're up on a down day, which is also a good thing. Uh, the downside is you had a previous high at 55 bucks with 91 million in shares. You tried it with 60 million shares on the 5th. Today you're trying it with 27 million shares. There's just not a lot of juice to drive it, probably more than about 56 or 57 anytime soon. Bob in the Den says uh, CRM has gone positive on the day. Uh, this also challenging a gap that goes back to uh, May 24th with uh, 5.3 million shares. He had about the same volume as you pierced that today, too. Of course, it's closing back above that gap. You would have liked to have seen lighter volume in that, but you didn't get it. A uh, question from uh, Ronald on the SMHs. 
I continue to think this is a story of uh, two cities, a rich man, poor man, depending on which side you're on. You have to dislike that you had a lot of volume into this low today, 5 million shares uh, going back to December 6th, uh, December 20th. Uh, all about 5 million shares, you get another 5 million shares today, which would suggest uh, that you're in a trading range here. What you really dislike is this, the immense amount of energy off the highs out here. So could you get a bounce back to 300? I think you could. But uh, again, rich pan, poor man, beggar man, thief. You got a bunch of, uh, what am I doing? Rich man, poor man, beggar man, thief. Yeah, anyway. Um... You've got, um, you know, maybe a bounce to 300 in this. Uh, but there's a lot of stocks that are in the SMHs that are still not doing well. Again, I'd be very uh, picky about which ones I'm in. Uh, I would avoid those with the most uh, exposure to, uh, to uh, Taiwan. If you had something in uh, Vietnam or uh, you had... Uh, semiconductors that were in South Korea. The problem is they're just, the South Korean stocks are so hard to try, uh, to trade. They've got a lot of problems, uh, uh, not in the companies, but trading. Uh, as we said, Samsung did very good in its earnings last week, or at least its announcement. Um, but um, yeah, I, I think if you're gonna be in any of those Taiwanese semi stocks, buy the calls, it's cheap insurance today uh two, 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 okay tlt john brings up tlt let's take a look at that um again really you got uh, more volume than you would like to see but you know what you actually did uh, test a gap this is the gap from the 12th of December was 17, almost 18 million shares. Uh, you got it with about nine. So I thought maybe it would just, the way it had been trading, it may just go through and blow through these levels to 139. I think it's still going to 139 and 136. But I think uh, we had a little bit of Fed help out here today. A little shove, uh, shovel of sand beneath the keel. The TLT. So it may hold up for a little while. We'll be back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. As we return in the immortal words of Ross Perot, there will be a giant sucking sound. Well, eh, certainly there was a giant sucking sound. Uh, anyway, we looked at AMD. We looked at the usual suspects out here. Uh, let's take a look at the IBB. They're talking about biotech and pharma and the uh, DIN. We'll come back and see what we had. Uh, we did get through the 142 uh, lows, which are March 5th of last year and May 11th of last year. Uh, the top volume up there was 7.7 .7 million shares. Doesn't look very bad out here uh, in comparison, about 2 million shares on the IBB. Uh, so as we said, some of these actually are not looking so bad. Uh, but uh, you need a real close above 142-ish on this you're at 141 now so keep an eye about what's going on out here in the market um the ibb looks like it's got a fairly large uh pattern out here uh to, to what else did we get uh, do, do, do. okay and old friend that we haven't talked about for forever uh, Cody for Sam. I don't know why you'd be. Maybe it's Samantha. Maybe that's short for it. Um, going back and testing the December 3rd low is 7 million shares. Uh, you got 7 million shares already and not really much of a bounce. So, no, I'm not a big fan. Of course, there's a retail. What is it? Uh, cosmetics. I was going to say war paint, but uh, cosmetics, but certainly in that. Uh, question about the UNG. Well, this is all about whatever the weather is for the last few days. And, of course, uh, pretty brutal uh, weather being uh, forecast for the next couple of weeks uh, with very uh, low. So, um, yeah, you got everything you want. Um, when we talk about that pattern that I look for, which is then, you know, you get a couple of days above, a couple of days below the next move back. You could have bought it anywhere around that 1275 level. It's 1376 now. Uh, you got a lot of gaps to fill above. Um, but that also means you got a lot of people who are probably willing to sell it. Hopefully you get a little bit of a pullback, maybe 13 and a quarter or something. Uh, but, yeah, I think you could get back up to 16 on it. Uh, looks fairly good out here, but that's really just a bounce and a downtrend. We get uh, another, some more warmer weather. That'll be another uh, issue. Generally, um, March is when this thing really starts to roll over. So you got to be uh, knowing that uh, March, April, uh, you're looking for kind of uh, the downside through the summer until about uh, August seasonally. Uh, but, yeah, you got a double gap, which I always like, as we talked about before, right there at 16. 
So if you were playing UNG, uh, I would have my target at about 1650, something like that. Uh, if you are long UNG, and of course uh, you got about two weeks of bad weather coming at you, at least from what I saw earlier in the day. So uh, eh, what else? Uh, t -t 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 okay. Question about the XLE. Has anything really changed on it? Um, don't really think so. Um, you know, even today tells you a great deal. I think it's probably going to pull back to 5950. Uh, but uh, not a bad uh, setup. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more volume on the uh, highs uh, as it went through them. You wanted about 23 million shares. Well, you had enough, 45 million shares on the 5th, 37 million shares on the 6th. Eh, I probably should have looked at this closer, 35 million shares. Got some nice, but man, a pullback to 60 would where be where you want to get in if you are not long already on this. But uh, yeah, 59, 75, 60 bucks, probably be a nice one. Okay, what else do we have out here? Okay, question about whether or not the uh, 3D stocks have been beaten to death enough. Uh, as we talked about this one several weeks ago, it looked like it was coming back to fill this big gap higher, uh, going back to May 11th of last year, as everything was of last year. 60 million shares, you're back into it with 1.4 million shares. So, yeah, I don't know if you're going to take right off, but this is the pattern I look for long term. Uh, and, uh, yeah, not a bad looking chart here. Let's see what if uh, SSYS has something similar out here. Eh, not as good. But uh, at least back to support levels. Maybe not as beaten up as bad, but just not as good a chart pattern as this. You'd really love to see 1855 get retested on lighter volume, but uh, today's yet another day of a light volume. But uh, we shall see. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, do, 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 do. Got a question about SLV. Uh, Silver Trust. Um, you know, this is more of an industrial than gold. Um, but it doesn't look bad. I think if you wanted to be in any kind of uh, precious metal, it'd be gold. But silver, probably not that bad. I think the whole thing would be if, if China gets rid of these lockdowns, I'd probably be a lot more looking at SLV. But uh, I just saw in the news today that they're shutting more ports down and stuff like that. And that just means that uh, the industrial side of the market's going to be weaker. But uh, still think gold has a long and uh, uh, valued uh, run uh, coming out here. Uh, to, to, to what else do we have out here that people are asking about? Uh, path at tfnn.com, by the way. If you haven't emailed me already today, and see what else do we have. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, I was looking at this earlier, so we may just look through these real quick. Um, for 52-week highs, or excuse me, 52-week high? That can't be right. It's going to be 52-week lows. Take a look at Target and Walmart. See how the re. Yeah. Yeah, not much of anything out here. Again, you came down to 214.60 on December 20th. You're probably going to retest that and quietly, but that doesn't look bad. Okay, and what else do we want to look at? Uh, WNT, Walmart, real quick. It's a little better. And you don't have a bad thing. Looks to me like this one wants to crawl back up to 151, though. Damn.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, billable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. As we return, get ready to uh, wrap up yet another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. We're down 38 on the S&P, down 331 on the Dow Nasdaq, down 145. Russell's down 19. So it's all about the close now. But as we showed, a lot of stocks, but not all, testing lows on lighter volume in the big guys. They're going to have a bounce, I think, over the next two weeks. Uh, as we said, uh, ad nauseum. We, uh, the market's uh, always going up about three quarters of the time. It just goes down much quicker in a bear market than it does in a bull market. And of course it goes up a lot more, even though if it's baby steps higher in a bull market, you only get yeah, some pullbacks, sharp pullbacks that are over almost instantaneously in a bear market or in a bull market. So as we go forward, just remember uh, the biggest problem about being a bear is being a perma bear. You got to come out for the spring. The sun does shine. Go out there to eat your uh, eat your uh, salmon swimming upstream. Uh, but uh, don't uh, think that you can hang out in the bear cave all winter long. It's one of those things where you do want to uh, you do want to know that uh, the the party does end. Cinderella does uh, have midnight, and that happens uh, fairly quickly. So you want to take your money when you can, being short. 
as I said, um, we'll look at the volume at the end of the days here, but uh, look to me like a big route maybe in some of the uh, bigger ETFs. Uh, and that's probably we're going to find out some of these companies that uh, had been told that they were going to have to uh, have a whole lot less margin. Uh, we're getting that in the hedge fund business. Maybe some of the uh, uh, Robin Hood folks, too, getting uh, trimmed a little bit. So when you can, not when you have to. We shall see you here tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time.